while all eyes are on the new Omicron variant, hospitals across Ohio are seeing more patients, including here in the Miami Valley. Local hospitals now preparing for a potential new wave of COVID-19 patients. Two News reporter Riley Phillips spoke with local doctors to find out more. While we still don't know much about the Omicron variant, health leaders in the Miami Valley address concerns about rising hospitalizations and what it can mean for the response to the new variant. Hospitals continue to see a rise in the number of COVID-19 patients. We are seeing that uh, the sort of second peak that followed the September um, wave, and um, it, it's kind of been hanging around for the past two weeks or so. So every hospital in our region has seen that increase. Fortunately, it has not been as dramatic as what has been seen in some of the no northern counties. And hospitals are already busy right now as people take care of surgeries and appointments before the end of the year. Hospitals are, are pretty full of both COVID and non-COVID patients. This is the busy time of year. Um, many, uh, of the, um, uh, many people in the community like to have their surgeries done at the end of the year because they've met their health care deductibles. With full facilities, adding a new variant into the mix can be concerning. Local doctors say there is no reason to panic yet, but they are starting to prepare. What every hospital does at this time is we evaluate what our stretch capacities are, what are the things that we can do to help um, expedite patients as they're moving through the environment of care, what are the things that we can do to maximize our capabilities in order to ensure that we can continue to function and continue to care for patients. And while it's still early, there is some cautious optimism surrounding the Omicron variant. At least in the other countries, most of the cases of Omicron that have been identified have been mild cases that would not need hospitalization. Doctors say this is another reminder to wear your masks in large crowds or gatherings, get tested if you feel sick, and get the vaccine to help slow the spread of all variants of COVID-19. In the studio, Riley Phillips, 2 News, working for you.